I'm Dr. Gary Clayman of the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center. In this video, we're going to talk about your thyroid cancer coming back. Yeah, so um, I recently had my thyroid cancer dealt with, and we talked about my long-term follow-up and radioactive iodine and ultrasounds. Now, I'm doing good, but I read online these people, and I understand your practice is geared this way a lot, that people, they think, people like me, they think their thyroid cancer is cured and they're all happy, good, and I go long-term follow my endocrinologist and then I figure out that my thyroid cancer has come back. How does that happen? How, how is it that I think I'm cured of my thyroid cancer and then five years later my thyroid cancer comes back? The endocrinologist may have told you your thyroid cancer has come back based upon examining your blood. So the marker of thyroid cancer, and that more commonly is this thyroglobulin that we've been talking about. So the, my thyroglobulin levels go up, and the assumption is that there's thyroid cells that are making it thyroid cancers back. Yeah. Okay. So if the thyroid, if the thyroglobulin was low, okay, it was zero, okay, and it starts going up it's being produced by something and usually it's being produced by thyroid cancer. Okay. Okay. Now, they may not be, it may just be a number though. Uh, and so you need to have a really expert evaluation by someone that's really comfortable with recurrent thyroid cancer. And that's going to involve a very very high definition ultrasound study and usually some other type of study like a CAT scan. So if, if somebody's thyroid cancer came back and we know it from either a, a thyroid globulin test went high, it was low and then became high, or I mean, it, I was assume that maybe it, they can feel it come back. Isn't that why they are touching me and examining me every year to see if they can feel it? If they feel it come back, it's pretty advanced. So usually you can't feel these cancers until they've really grown to quite significant size. So if they feel it, it's, it's big. So then they tell if it's coming back on my annual visits by measuring the thyroid globulin, by measuring, um, by examining it, and by doing ultrasounds to look for lymph nodes. What are they looking for on the ultrasound? They're looking for lymph nodes. They're, they're looking for lymph nodes or, or other deposits that are growing in your neck. Now, how does that happen? How, how, does it, how does it happen that, I mean, isn't like half of your practice operating on people who've previously been operated on for thyroid cancer and they weren't cured and it came back? Uh, um, that seems like those people aren't being cured when it's a curable disease. How is that happening? That's, that's a really great line. And so we're, we're really not sure whether these are actually coming back or there are things that weren't completely appreciated originally and then have grown up to the point that they can be discovered. Oh, so your, your, your point being that it's not like they got cured of their cancer and then it showed up five years later. Really it turns out to be they didn't get a complete cure the first time. The surgeon left some behind. Is that what, is that what I'm hearing? So, sometimes we anticipate that this was just there all along just grew up with time. Yes. So the, the, the first surgeon left some lymph nodes behind or something that they didn't see or didn't look for or whatever, and three years later they've grown big and now we find them, and, and that's, how we, that's how we find them. And make sure that the second time around you don't make the same decisions that led you to this, to this problem. So I think that the, the takeaway here, it, it keeps coming back to, if I want a long-term cure and my stuff, not my cancer, not to come back, I need to have a really good operation the first time. Is that, is that what's happening? You need a real expert surgeon the first time, but if the cancer has come back, very few individuals should ever be doing that type of surgery. So the reoperative surgery, the second time, the, if you need your second or uh, third, or whatever. You, that's not your local guy. You're going, you're getting on an airplane and going somewhere special. You gotta find someone who's the expert of experts. Okay, I hope I 
never get to that point. Me too. Th thank you for answering that question. I hope I never get there.